Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home's design team, and today I'm sharing with you these Sizzix dies that this one specifically is by Lori Whitlock, and as you can see, it is a baby theme die. You can make it into a little girl or a little boy die. Um, and I'll share with you the dies that come in this one. There are 12 dies in this one, but first I'd like to share with you a couple others that they've come out with. And these are by Rachel Bright, I believe. This one is the Thanks die, and this one comes with 15 dies. And they also show that they're in the size that you can use them for pocket um, pieces as well, if you, if you didn't want to use the whole card front die. So, this one is Thanks, and it has several dies in it. This one here is also by Rachel Bright, and it says Beauty. It has these gorgeous butterflies and flower dies. This one comes with 10 separate dies. And it also comes with different shapes. So you don't have to just use all these dies for this card. You can use them in other cards or scrapbook pages or pocket letters, whatever you'd like to do. Or if you're into the uh, Project Life, these work great for the pockets there. You can, if they don't come with this idea sheet, you can download this idea sheet from Sizzix. It just gives you the instructions. But today we're going to be making a card using this die from Lori Whitlock. So let me share with you what comes inside of this. They now all come in this heavy weight envelope so they're easy to store. And what I like to do if it has a lot of little pieces, which they usually do, is I just throw in a little Ziploc bag and add all my pieces into the Ziploc bag. So here is the basic card front and we'll be using this today. Here is the front of the dresser, look how cute that is. They have a little baby bottle, a rattle, here's a little scallop edge. This is for your dresser front, so you can do um, a different color. This shape here I love, and all of them come with different shapes, so like I said, I'll be using this shape a lot outside of making this card. Here is the little baby onesie. This is a flag banner that says baby. It comes with a little teddy bear and also the front for the bear's belly. A few other items I'll be using is my Sizzix Big Shot. And this I had in my stash. I can't even tell you where I got it from. I don't remember, but I'll be using this. Great way to use it up. And let's get started. For my card base, I'm using a scrap piece of paper that I have from a Kaiser Craft collection. And for the dresser, I will be using this piece of paper. This is from a Recollections paper pad, my favorite things. And I will also be using some other scraps. This is from the Simple Stories Vintage Bliss. Um, that's all I've thought through so far. I haven't actually decided yet what I'll be using for the rest of it, but we will decide as we go along. So I'm going to be using my Sizzix Big Shot. I have my multi-purpose platform, my cutting plate, and then I will um, place my, my die face up and another cutting plate down. I am going to tape this down just because I want a certain side of the paper to cut. So I will tape it down so I make sure to get that side that I want it, that the die doesn't move. I'm just using a little bit of scotch tape.
here is going to be my card base and in order to fold it, it comes with instructions on how to do so. It's very simple though. They have score lines in them that are probably going to be a little hard to see on camera, but you basically want to fold on the score lines. And then I like to take my bone folder over it to make sure I have a nice crease. And here is the base of my card. So now this is a four and a quarter by five and a half, so it will fit in a standard A2 size envelope. I will go ahead and cut out the rest of my pieces. If you know ahead of time what you're planning on using, it's best to just get all your die cutting out of the way first so then you can put your card together very easily. I want to show you also from the scraps of the base of the card, that's where um, this part came out. This is a great file folder that you can use as well. It has a beautiful tab at the top. So I will even this out right here. Um, I can just do so quickly with my scissors actually. And I will be using this either on a scrapbook page or probably my smash book. So that's a good thing to save. the dresser together right now or the card together right now before I make any more decisions on what I want to do. I have these tiny little brads that I'm going to use for the door handles. I think I'm going to add a little glue to these as well just to make sure that they're flat once it adhered.
So here is my finished card. As you can see, this was super quick to put together and it is so adorable. I'm so happy with how it turned out. And like I said, you can easily adapt this to or change this to make it a baby boy card as well. And you just open it up and add your sentiment right on the inside of the card and it'll fit perfectly in an A2 envelope. So please check out Cut at Home's blog. I will list all the products linked. I will have detailed photos and there's lots of inspiration on there as well. Thanks so much for watching.